Come have a seat in the skull circle and hear the tale of Death's Messengers, as told by Casimir. Before we begin our tale, we'd like to remind you that we release new stories for free weekly on Wednesdays on our website, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Spotify, Podbean, and more. Visit www.thescaldcircle.com for more information. As a special thank you for your support, we hope you also enjoy this bonus story release. Now then, this begins the tale of Death's Messengers. In ancient times, a giant was wandering along the highway, when suddenly a stranger jumped towards him and shouted, Stop! Not one step further! What? said the giant. You, a creature that I could crush between my fingers, you want to block my way. Who are you that dare to speak so boldly? I am death, answered the other one. No one resists me, and you, too, must obey my orders. But the giant refused and began to wrestle with death. It was a long, violent battle, and finally the giant got the upper hand and knocked death down with his fist, causing him to collapse by a stone. The giant went on his way, and death lay there conquered. So weak he could not get up again. What is to come of this, said he. If I stay lying here in a corner, no one will die in the world, and it will become so filled with people they won't have room to stand beside one another. Meanwhile, a young man came down the road, vigorous and healthy. He was singing a song and looked this way and that, and seeing the half-conscious individual, he approached him with compassion raised him up and gave him a refreshing drink from his flask, and waited until he regained his strength. Do you know, asked the stranger, as he stood up, who I am, and whom you have helped onto his legs again? No, answered the youth, I, I do not know you. I am death. I spare no one, nor can I make an exception for you. However, so you may see I am grateful. I promise I will not attack you without warning, but instead will send my messengers to you before I come and take you away. Good, said the youth. It is to my benefit that I shall know when you are coming, and then I will be safe from you until then. Then he went on his way and was cheerful and carefree and lived one day at a time. However, youth and good health did not last long. Soon came sickness and pain, which tormented him by day and deprived him of rest by night. I shall not die, he said to himself, for death will send his messengers. But I do wish these wicked days of sickness were over. Regaining his health, he began once more to live cheerfully. Then one day, someone tapped on his shoulder. He looked around and death was standing beside him. And he said, Follow me. The hour of your departure from this world has come. What? replied the man. Are you breaking your word? Did you not promise me that you would send your messengers to me before you yourself would come? I have not seen one of them. Be still, answered Death. Have I not sent you one messenger after another? Did not fever come and strike you? and shake you and throw you down. Has not dizziness numbed your head? Has not gout pinched your limbs? Did not your ears buzz? Did toothache not bite into your cheeks? Did your eyes not darken? Has not my own brother sleep reminded you every night of me? During the night, did you not lie there as if you were already dead? The man did not know how to answer, so he surrendered to his fate and went away with death. And that is the tale of the messengers of death. Thank you for listening to our story. If you enjoyed it, please take a look at our Patreon page to learn how you can earn great rewards while also supporting us. A special thank you to Cat for their support this month. It means the world to us. Remember, we release new tales for free weekly on Wednesdays. Find out where you can hear them on our website at www.thescaldcircle.com. Once again, 
Thank you for listening to our story.